Hey, so this is a really rough demo of how we would have gone about taking a loop, molting it, running it through a desk on different channels, adding some kick and snare samples. Those would have been sequenced with the MPC. Typically not, uh, I did it a different way just for the purpose of getting this video done. Uh, and then I kind of, uh, you know, poked around doing some levels and playing around with what typically would have been done with trying to find a balance from all the malts and um, the different EQs version. This is very quick. I mean, typically you would spend, you know, you could spend hours tweaking and balancing the beat. And I'm trying to show you in you know, minutes. Um, so bear with it, go for it, check it out. I'm sure the comments will be amazing. Take it easy. Okay, guys, this is going to be a quick, fast, and loose demo of how we would use a malt on a sample. So this is what a malt looked like on the in the patch bay. And this basically would be like you would take tape out, see where my uh, cursor is? You would go tape out of whatever tr track the loop was on and then go into one of these. And then these next four, let's say, would be outputs. You would take those, run those into four other channels on the console. So then you'd have five versions of the loop. If you were desperate for more, you could go, you could jump from one malt to the next and then create another four or actually another three because then you would go from one malt to the next. You get the picture. Anytime you plug into one of these, doesn't matter which one, the other four become outputs. That's a little malt uh, explanation. So what I did was I found a loop on Splice, nothing special. Um, I think you'll agree but if this is for the demo purposes only, this is the original. Somebody told me to make the cursor easier to see, so there it is. This is the original. That's the original, and we're going to, uh, we have that, instead of molting it, all you have to do is copy paste it, or you know, duplicate the track. I did it four times. So I have the original, which I'm gonna turn off now. I'm gonna go up to the top, first channel. Same thing, right? And I chose to use just channel strip because it is a easily accessible plugin for you guys. I don't know what what you have or whatever. I could do this with any full channel strip. Right, so I would just go to my user default that I have pre-patched in. I call it Tony's, uh, you know, TBS is so it's about five and a half on the ratio and the compression filter. This is all very easy for you guys to see. So this is kind of cool in that way. So I'll just show you what I would do to one loop and get a, a sort of like a low subby thing happening. say I'm looking to get like sub out of this so I kind of um, brought the filter to about 30 and it's going up to about 122 and then I'm boosting at around 40 there you go that's that a little bit of compression I could go a little more severe And I'll just leave that one that way. On this one, I'm gonna try and get a little bit of kick bite out of it. So let's take it out of bypass. So I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave that sort of emphasizing 80. Pretty 
light. Okay, so next one. This is where I'm gonna go for a little bit of the keyboards on this one. So I kind of did this one already, so check this out. Um, so here now we're filtering to about, to about 300 to about, uh, let's just say 1.2K. And the next one would be a little brighter. So I've already got this filtered out. All right, so there's our four. Now typically like if someone did have just a loop just of one the uh that's the original they would they would program kicks and snares to that what i would do here is just to give you guys the demonstration i'll throw on addictive trigger i will capture this So I have uh, four bars right there. And I have a MIDI channel set up already. I could take this, drag that MIDI in, boom. I do have a reason rack set up already with a little kit so that we can just move along. Let's see what we got. Okay, so we didn't get all of them. I think we'll, we got close, and what we need to do is go in and um, take the the twos and fours. and just move them up to the snare. And this is gonna be very rough. Uh, we don't need these. Okay, so let's go back to this. Now we have, we have a bit of a, that's coming from, from here. Just a simple kick snare thing coming from the reason kick. I kind of preset that up so you didn't have to wait around for me to dig it around. So anyway, then we have that. That can play with this. So this is where you start getting into blending things a little bit. down the original so we never even think that that's going to happen. And this is our high. So this is if I went nuts with the beat. Now what we tended to do was do a couple of funky things like, okay, you got this uh, keyboard.
Okay, now on this, I could also do a little modulation. I'll keep it simple. I'll just use uh, the the air chorus and just give it a quick uh, soft stereo thing. I don't want to go too nuts. So that's just that channel. That's without um, that's without the kick or anything. So, so here's the top end, and we'll add a little reverb to that. But maybe we want that straight up and down instead of, and just let the reverb do the the echo, uh, do the spread. So now let's play around with a little bit of level. So you get the picture on that, and now if I added a little um, bus compression just to give a little SSL flavor. We will That's the gist of it.